guys, in this episode of Ready K, I'm gonna be reacting to the recent comeback of one of the members of Mamamoo, that being Win. And honestly, I don't know what to expect uh, in terms of how much I'm gonna like this song, uh, because for me, uh, the releases by the different Mamamoo members have been kind of hit or miss. I liked Solar's release, uh, and I most liked... Um, uh, Moonview's release, that one was much uh, the most uh, appealing to me. On the other hand, the previous releases of Win and Huaxa, well, not bad by any means, just didn't really do it for me that much. And even for Win, I completely forgot that she was the first one to actually solo debut out of all the members. Uh, that being because she ended up uh, solo debuting way before I started uh, my YouTube channel, so I was kind of under the impression that Quasa was the first one. But no, it was Win. And I guess, uh, if I remember correctly, this should be her second or third comeback, so there's that. But yeah, I'm just curious to see whether I'm gonna like this song or not, because who knows. So without further ado, let's get into the song and find out in 3, 2, one. That's some pretty CGI for sure. Yeah, and if it's gonna be a ballad, I'm gonna be even less likely to, to love it, but I'll still enjoy it probably. Damn, she's so pretty. I feel like I personally uh, underrate her vi visuals a lot. She looks really pretty. And those outfits as well are really gorgeous. a good song though, although I don't know whether I'll listen to it outside of the reaction, because it's just not what I listen to usually, but it's definitely a good song, and man, I, I swear, she's, she's obviously always been pretty, but this is the prettiest I've seen her, personally. But she looks absolutely gorgeous in this music video. Honestly, I'm actually enjoying this song uh, quite a lot. I don't feel like it, it could have benefited from being a little bit more high energy for me to like it. Because it's already kind of uh, trying to ramp up in terms of its energy uh, at times, like for the chorus, but it doesn't really quite go as far as I feel like it should have. For me to really uh, love it, but I am enjoying it quite a lot, you know? It's more entertaining than I thought it was gonna be. I'm more entertained by it than I thought it was gonna be. I think for people who are into this kind of like more chill music, this is a really good song. Cause even I think so. Like, considering that I li I listen to different music from this. She looks so pretty. I mean, this music video in general is so pretty. Okay, so for this song, unlike how I usually do my reactions, I'm not really gonna be checking it out a second time because it's not really a complex song. 
in the sense like there's not much that uh, you can get off of a second listen that you didn't get off of a of one listen so I'm not gonna do a second listen but I will say this I think it's a really good song I enjoyed it actually quite a lot I wasn't bored at it, uh, by it as I was expecting to because for a lot of these kind of like more chill songs even though sometimes I listen to these kind of songs and I can easily enjoy them uh, I just tend to not uh, enjoy this. I prefer more high energy, more uh, maximalistic and loud kind of tracks. So these ones are always kind of on the back burner even when they're really good. So I don't really think I'm gonna be listening to this song uh, outside of the reaction, but I do recognize that it is good and I do recognize uh, that for people who enjoy this kind of music, I think they're gonna love it. And even I personally enjoyed it. I genuinely enjoyed it. And I might end up listening to it occasionally because it is kind of good and maybe after uh, a few more listens it's gonna grow on me even more because like I said there are parts of it that are kind of infectious um, uh, but I am I don't know whether it's gonna manage to grow to the point where I'm going to be really into listening to this song again. And for those of you who are wondering why I decided to react uh, to this, if I don't really have even much to say and I didn't react to uh, the song much, I check out most K-pop releases because you never know when you're gonna get a good song. That's kind of the reason, uh, the biggest uh, reason why I've enjoyed doing these reactions because I've found so many K-pop songs that I wouldn't have uh, stumbled upon if it wasn't for this YouTube channel. So if you're wondering why I did this reaction even though it's so short and even though I don't really have much to say about it, that's why. But yeah, it's a good song for those who uh, like this kind of stuff. For me personally, um, in terms of a rating, I think I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 just because it's not really mind-blowing for me and it's just not the kind of song that I listen to. But if we look at it from a more objective standpoint, I do think it's like a 10 out of 10 because I don't think there's a flow in this song. I don't think there's a part which feels uh, worse or out of place for the song. I think it's really good. I feel like they could have made it a little bit more infectious and catchy. But I also th don't think that that's necessarily what they were going for. They were definitely going for a more chill, almost ballad-like song. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it didn't quite go as far as for a ballad. Uh, you you need to go for a ballad because at times it was really uh, seeming like it was just gonna be a more normal uh, kind of... Uh, I don't want to say average or generic, but that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Like a more middle of the road, uh, catchy kind of uh, chill Mamamoo song. I feel like that's kind of what they were going for. But yeah, I don't know. What did you guys think about this song? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Omar Bridgman and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me to have decided to support me. And hope you continue to uh, enjoy my videos and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy but most of the time like right now I do feel very dysphoric um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me because my situation right now I, I 
don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents they're never going to accept me as a trans person they, they just never will and as a matter of fact back when I started the YouTube channel I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair um, I even got to DIY HRT but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know I still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so I just wanted to share this with you guys and again I would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um, I just don't see any way out of this because even if I mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition it's like I probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about LGBT people at all so there's not even much I can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah I don't know I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise and this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with it would mean literally everything like for example uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel my good friend Yuri has been helping me out a lot and I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!